Hi all, welcome back to Guide to SolidWorks. So in this tutorial I'm going to take us through uh, this CSWA um, example question. So this is a model um, here. We are given quite a few dimensions with a few missing A, B and C. Now above we're given a question and some information. So we're asked to model this part, making sure our units is in mmgs, so millimeters, grams, and seconds. We're working to two decimal places. Our origin is arbitrary, so it doesn't matter where we place that. Um, and we are given our three missing dimensions, A, B, C, um, here in this section. Um, we are asked to apply a material of copper to this um, product at the end, and then we're asked to find out the mass of it. So how we're going to go around doing this is creating this outline, so a rough outline shape to the model, um, and then I'm going to cut away the excess material uh, from the model to create these interior shapes. All the holes go straight through, um, so that hole and that hole go all the way through the model, um, and that's about it. So. Let's dive into this and I'll take you through how we model up this component. Okay, so I'm going to start off on the front plane. So let's click the front plane and I'm going to sketch on there. Now from the origin, I'm going to create a, a center rectangle. Drag that out. And I'm going to put some dimensions to this. So my bottom distance here for my C direction is going to be 100. My A, my height up the side there, is going to be 63, like so. Okay, so that's just the rough size there. Now, um, I'm also going to want to create this cutout of this top section here. So if I go to my corner rectangle, I'm going to drag that, oh, sorry, corner rectangle, not center rectangle. I'm going to start in this top corner, drag that down and across. Now this is going to come down by 15 and it's going to come across by 40 giving me that shape in the top corner. Now I also want to create this shape across the bottom, this curvature, so I'm going to get a line. On the line, I'm going to come up at 45 degrees and then down here at 20. So let's put them dimensions in. So 45 degrees up from there. And then from there to here is going to be 20 degrees. Now we can position this. So from this corner to the edge here, I am going to be 15 mil across and my spacing for the gap is going to be 40 but across there and I'm just left with the curvature at the top so I can go to a fillet and I can radius that off there at 10 taking that giving me that shape like so now I've got that I'm going to extrude it back so features extrude I'm going to click that in a profile and I'm going to extrude from um, this back face and I am going to bring that out by um, 50. Like so. And we've now got that shape there. Okay, so the next bit I'm going to start off is in the front face here and create this shape in this bottom corner. So I'm going to click on that front face, I'm going to sketch on that front face, and I'm going to create a circle. And I'm going to drop that circle in here and pull it out. Now, at the moment, I only know that the height of this, well, I know the height of this circle here is going to be um, 35 from the bottom for its, for its uh, center position and its diameter is going to be 40 mil, like so. I also want to take away this top section, so I'm going to draw a line straight up here, 
and connect it up to there. Getting that straight on. Now the line there needs to go vertical, so we'll just make sure it's vertical and it's connected to that top line there. Coincident, just to fully define it like so. I am then going to cut that back, so go to features and cut. Now you'll see that we are picking up now contours and not like the sketches. So I'm going to pick up that contour and that contour and I'm going to take that back 9 mil. Like so, giving me that cutout. Now in that face there, I'm going to create another sketch and I'm going to take out the circle. Now if I hover over here, that's going to find my center position. It's in the same height as that. So I can drop the circle in there. Knowing that center position, um, I know that that is going to be 35 mil up. So I can just drop that dimension in there to show us that it's 35 mil up. I also want it to be 10 mil in from the end. So I'm going to dimension from there to there, 10 mil. And the whole size is going to be another 10 mil diameter. Let's go to features, cut. Now this time, because this hole is specified going all the way through, I'm going to go blind all the way through for my end condition and tick there and that'll take that cut all the way through the model. Like so. Okay, now I'm going to deal with the shape on this front face here. So I'm going to go to sketch, click on that front face and sketch on there. I'm going to create some circles. One two and three. Once I've got them three th circles in place I am now going to put some dimensions to them and define the size. So this first circle here going out is going to be 50. The middle one is going to be 20. And the small one in the center is going to be 10. Give me my three sizes. Now what I need to know is the position of them three sizes. So the position for these is going to be 30 across from the edge. And 35 Get that 35 up. Now they're in place, I'm going to extrude or cut these back slightly. So, my first one for this outside circle, so features cut for this outside circle, is going to take me back 13. And I'm going to use that geometry there. My second one is going to be this inner one here, and I'm going to use the sketch in this cut. So I'm just going to drop down this bar here, click on the sketch, and I am going to hit cut on that sketch, and I'm going to use that profile, and I'm going to go back 8 in this case. Like so. And that gives me that profile in the center there. Okay, so I'm left with only a few little bits now. Um, let's start off with this cutout here on the front. So I'm going to come to this front face, sketch on that, and I'm going to create a circle. And that circle is going to start at my center height of 35. Again. And it's going to have a diameter of 20, so 50 millimeter diameter, like so. And that should just touch up against that section there. 
So I'm going to cut that out, so features, cut, and I'm going to take that all the way through. Like so. Now we've still got some left over, uh, some processes left over to complete. Um, I'm now going to move to the back face. So onto this back face, I'm going to sketch. I'm going to do another circle. Just drop that in there. Again, I want that center height. Of 35. However, I do want this center position on line with um, this position here. Let's not pierce that, sorry. Let's uh, end point there. But I'll do it between this point here and the center of the circle there and make them vertically aligned. Now I'm just going to change that diameter there to uh, 60 and that will give me my circle for that section. I'm also going to uh, connect from the centre of my circle on the outside here, so coincident, and draw a line straight up to the top and connect to the top there. Now that line is going to connect to that top section and is going to be vertical, like so. Now at this point, I'm going to cut that. So I'm going to go to Features, I'm going to go to Cut, and I'm going to pick the profiles that I want to cut. So uh, this section here and that section there. And I want to come forward um, 42. like so. Now that's just going to leave me this bit here left over. I'm going to need to get rid of that so I'm just going to click on that face, uh, sketch on there, convert entities, it gives me the exact shape of the profile that's left over, features, and I'm just going to cut that and then I'm just going to go through all there and take away that section, leaving me with a profile that I should be left over with from the model. Now there's some small bits left here, um, uh, the first one being a hole through the top, so let's put that hole in place. Now if I sketch on that top plane there, sketch, and create a circle, like so. I am now going to turn that circle to its correct diameter, which is 10, and then position it. So my distance in from this edge here is 9 and my distance up from the base so from here to there is going to be 30 so that puts that circle in the right or that hole in the right position to cut through so let's go features and cut and I'm going to take that all the way through in my end condition again so it comes out the bottom like so. Now left over with two little bits to do. I want this angle on this back face and I want a rectangular cut out of here. So let's start with that rectangular cut first. So sketch. Now I'm going to go normal to this face. So I'm highlight I've highlighted it there. And if I hit control and eight, that'll take me normal to that face. Do a corner rectangle, start in this corner. Drag it across, and I want that to be 50 along. Hopefully, yes. So, making sure that's 50 along, and I'm coming down 12. Okay, now that is going to be cut straight through. So, features cut. I want to take that right down to the base of the model. So, I'm just going to go through all down to the bottom there. And that takes out that back section for me. Now all I'm left with now is the angle on this face here. So, side view, click on there. 
I need a sketch on that plane. Sketch. I would like to create an angle across there. Let's get rid of that section. And I'm going to come up to this top corner and across. Now this angle that I'm creating is 20 degrees from there to there. And the distance this is going to come down from the top here is going to be 18. Like so. And if I go to features and cut, and I should be able to take that straight through the model. And if I go through all, I know that I'm going all the way at least. And take out that back section like so. Okay. And that's the final model in part two of this. So we've got the holes, two holes, this section that's uh, removed with our section with our holes, our curvature in the bottom is cut out here, and we've got our final shape. Now, what we need to do with this then is just add a material. So I'm going to go over to the design tree, right click, edit our material in the design tree, and I am after a copper material. So I'm going to get rid of the drop down for steel, find the copper option, which is just there. I'm going to go for a, just a plain copper, which gives me my correct mass density it's asking for. Apply that to my model, close, and I now have my full model with my correct material. It's asked to find out what the mass prop, what the mass of this object is. So if we go into evaluate, if that's not in your tabs, again just right click, find evaluate in your tabs. Click on mass properties and we should get something around 1280 um, to be precise, 1280.33 grams. Um, if we just need to check to make sure that we're in the correct units and that we're working to two decimal places like it does ask in the question, if we go to options at this point and we can use and define them. The current custom sheet is what is set here but we can edit them by doing a custom setting. But everything there is exactly how it should be, so tick, and we know we've got everything in the right units. Okay, let's exit that there. So hopefully that was useful for you, taking you through the process of creating um, uh, this CSWA tutorial question. Um, uh, please, if you enjoyed the content, give us a big thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.